Hi, Tab Soccer family. My name is Rebecca Townsend. I know a lot of you uh, from being out on the field over the years. Some of you guys remember my daughter Jasmine. She's been out on the field with me over the years as well. We are so sorry we can't be together with you guys this spring, playing together right now. Um, I know you guys must just be going crazy, uh, stuck at home. But remember, soccer is a game that we work on by ourselves and with our team. So as much as we miss our team right now, and believe me, you guys, there's a lot to be excited about. The registrations for the kids in my team's age group, the 10 to 12 year olds, is just skyrocketed. And a lot of you guys who have aged out, we've made some opportunities for you at the older levels too. So I've got a group of some 40 kids that I'm expecting, I was expecting to have some interaction with this spring. Um, but I'm hoping that we can arrange some ways to get together and play this summer um, as soon as it's safe for us to be back together. But for right now, I wanted to remind you guys that at home by yourselves, you can do your individual training and work on skills that all of us need to do as individuals and then we bring those skills together as a team and then we do training as a team when, um, when we've just got those valuable small chunks of time where we've got us all together, right? Well, Jasmine decided that she would come out with me today and we would talk about one of the most basic skills there is, but it's important because together it can link together an attack. So we're gonna talk about passing right now. And it's some basic skills. A lot of you guys are really good at it already. You're like, I don't wanna even deal with this coach. But you know, even the best players sometimes make silly passing errors okay so this is one of the fundamentals like in boxing we practice our fundamentals over and over and over again so it's like muscle memory so what we're going to do right now is some basic passes with the different sides of our feet so that you guys know when you're at home i want you to practice being able to go with the inside of both feet and the outside of both feet so that's what jasmine and i are going to show you right now so if you have a brother or sister or even a wall um, you can practice working on these different sides of your feet. And I wonder if our camera is going to work out with us here today. Didn't put much thought into, uh, put it on the ground. I think there's going to be too much grass in the way. All right, how's this? Can you, can you see the ground? Yep. Okay. You want to come right up over there? I think Jazzy. Okay guys, so we start relatively close together and we're going to start with just the inside of our right foot. Inside, then we trap with the inside of our right foot and then kick back with the inside of our right foot. Now look, when you trap, you've got a foot on the ground. Hopefully the plant foot is going to be pointed to where you want to pass it. So here I'm pointing my planting foot toward Jasmine and I'm just sweeping with the inside of my foot. Jazzy's stopping the ball and she's coming back. And when we trap the ball, we want to trap with the inside of our foot here, not on top of the ball so it doesn't roll under our feet, but behind it, okay? Got it trapped, pointing my base foot here. Boom, trap, trap inside. Okay, a fun series you can do is just 10 on each surface. So right now we're gonna practice 10 from our inside of our right foot, okay? There's one coming to me. Here's one going back to her. Here comes two, and see how we're trapping that is essential to controlling. Later we can go to one touch, but right now we want the rhythm of the trap and kick. I'm going to pretend like this is six, and this is seven, and this is eight, and this is nine, and this is ten. All right, Jazzy, let's switch feet and do with our left feet now. So, <laughs> whoops, I'm going to clean that up here. I'm going to go to the inside of my left foot, control, good. Moving so I can stay on my left, right, trap, pass. Moving my body so I get behind with my left foot. I know where I want to be. So, we've got some inside of the foot, inside of the foot passing going on. 
Now we're gonna move to the outside of our feet. This can feel very awkward. Let's move up here a little bit, Jazzy, so they can see a little bit better. Let's go this way. Now look, sometimes it's almost just like stepping into the ball as it's going, you wanna back up a little bit, sweetie. We're not gonna be able to see you when we connect now, but just let me give them one close up of this. So I'm gonna pass with the outside of my right foot to Jasmine now, here we go. Boom. And then she's getting in there. We're gonna bring it back down so you can see bigger. Controlling with the outside of my foot. Passing back. Hey Rebecca, do I stop it with the outside? Yes, of my you can. Foot? You can trap it with the outside too. Trapping. Stepping. Trapping. Boom. 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 Yep. All right, now we're gonna move it to the outside of our right, uh, left foot. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. So. That's how quick you can get 10 inside outside passes going on. Sometimes you can also use your laces. Oftentimes we use our laces for shooting or to get up under a ball to make it go off the carpet or off the ground. But when we are connecting passes to do to mount an offense, the skill of being able to keep the ball on the ground and controllable for your friends cannot be overemphasized, okay? So lesson number one, let's see how you guys do with the passing. If your parents are willing to tape you and you wanna email me a video or upload it to the um, Tab Prez Facebook page, that would be awesome if we can inspire each other uh, to make it through this COVID stay in, healthier, stronger, and we'll come out a better team, all right? Well, hopefully we'll see you soon. Good work, Tabby. Oh. 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 Uh, as you guys know, I don't always do the best job of bringing it in for a prayer, but you guys know how important it is that we all kind of get spiritually uh, together on the same page. So in this moment right now, let me just say, dear God, thank you so much for Tab Rec and for all the players and parents and refs and everybody that makes it possible for us to come together and do the games that we love. Help strengthen our mind, body, and spirit. and even though with this dubious, strange start uh, to 2020, Lord, help carry us through and make us stronger all the way around. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.